Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Overtime Athletes. Lesson two, how to sprint faster. So the first lesson, all I essentially wanted to touch on was acceleration, just for you guys to understand the general concept. Remember, when we have reviewed acceleration, all I said is we're stabbing back into the ground. It's all about your body angles, having that forward lean and driving through the ground, trying to accelerate as fast as we possibly can. After we hit that transition phase, where essentially we're going from stabbing at the ground to making our torso upright. Now that we're at a higher speed, or we call it top speed, we're essentially performing a cycle with our legs. So if acceleration is our shin angles uh, positive, leaning forward I mean, and we're driving into the ground, after we turn upright, right, we're gonna wanna perform essentially a cycle. And a cycle is gonna look like after I strike the ground behind me, I'm going to snap my heel up to my butt as fast as I possibly can, pull it through, essentially keeping the ankle cocked or dorsiflexion, and then coming down at the ground in a cycling motion, almost like I'm riding a bicycle. So now my torso is upright and I'm able to perform that as fast as possible. Now, what I see with uh, what 90% of the athletes I work with mistake is, is they like to have their cycle behind them. And all that means is essentially they come back here and then they're essentially pulling way back here, sweeping that leg, and then they're not driving further. So if I'm able to hit the ground right here, snap straight up and pull a high knee, I'm able to cover more ground as I go forward as opposed to swooping way back here coming up, selling my knee short, and then only coming down right here. So if you think about it, a, a good cycle is constantly moving forward, while a bad cycle is kind of, it's still going forward, but they're swooping that leg way back behind them. And that's the common mistake. But what essentially I want you guys to understand just with top speed is we're changing our leg mechanics and the actual motion that we perform. Acceleration, stab, top speed, we're actually cycling and moving through it. That's just a simple concept I need you guys to understand. In video or lesson three, I'm gonna get into stride length versus stride frequency. Hot you soon.